Good day, everybody. It, it, welcome back to the Dice Den. We're going to do another on-off axis analysis of our 3213 dice set to see if it uh, changed overnight, plus just to do something different. And I'm going to add something new to the analysis. Um, it is currently Friday, July 7th right about noon mountain time. I'm going to use one tray to uh, for my on and off axis for each die. I don't know if it shows it. No, it doesn't. Okay, so maybe I'll just to give you an illustration my left die will be my green die my right die will be my red die. If uh, each die, when I toss, this is just for instance, because I'm going to change my location here of the tray. If the left die is on axis, I'm going to use a green chip and set it here. If a right die is on axis, I'm going to use it and put it on the other side of the tray. Same thing with the if it's off, then this is off, okay? So I don't know if that's good, if that shows up better like that. Okay? So that's what each die is going to be doing. I'm going to move my tray out of the way, and I'll bring it back at the end. We are going to use our 3213 dice set again. And the main reason is because that's the one I use mostly on this table. If both die are on axis, it's going to be a green chip on whatever number that it lands on. Okay? If both die are off axis, it's going to be a red chip. Now, here's the difference, the new way of doing it. If we have one die on axis and one off, we're going to use a white chip for the, if it's the left die on, right die off. And we're going to use a black chip if it's left die off, right die on axis. I know it's confusing. But hopefully it will help better when we get to analyze uh, the results. Okay? Let's get started and see what we can do. 3, 2, 1, 3. We're going to try to do 50 throws. And you would think, just not based upon uh, the configuration of the dice, the math says that two-thirds of the time you should be on axis. Yeah, that doesn't always happen, like last time. Three, two, one, three dice are out. That is a six, six, 12, midnight, 6, 6, 12. So the left die is off axis. Right die is on axis. The 12, so we have one on, one off. But the right die is on axis, so the 12 is going to get a black chip. Dice are out. So I'm going to try to keep track of points and all that other good stuff also. 3, 2, 1, 3. Dice out. Hard 8. 44. Square pair. So the left die is on axis. 
right die is on axis. Both die on axis. The hard eight is going to get a green chip. That is also going to be our point, and I'm going to mark that 12 from the last row. Three, two, one, three. Dice out. Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight. So the left die on axis, green chip, right die on axis, green chip. The eight came easy, both die on axis, and get a green chip. Point is made. I'm going to use a pink chip, I'm going to put it in here under the all, just to signify how many points we make or whatever. Okay? Three, two, one, three, dice out. Four, five, nine, come out, roll. Four, five, nine. Mark the nine. Green die is on axis. Red die is off axis. So we had one on, one off, but the left die was on axis. So the nine is going to get a white chip like that. Dice are out. Four, six, ten, four, six, ten. Uh. So, green die is on axis, red die on axis, on green chip. So the ten, both on, is going to get a green chip, going to mark the ten. Notice the, on the all tall small, all we have left up on the tall is the yo already. Three, two, one, three, dice are out. One, four, five, one, four, five. Green die off axis. Red die on axis. So we have one and one. Red die is on. So the five is going to get a black chip and we're going to mark it. Three, two, one, three. Dice out. That is a six, four, ten. Move that green chip. Green die is off axis. That's a red chip. Red die is on axis. That is a green chip. I'm going to turn these this way now. So 
they don't fall out of the tray. The 10, we have one on, one off, but it's the right die that's on. So it's going to look like that with a black chip. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Is a six four ten. Six four ten. So the green die is off axis again. Red die on axis. One and one. Ten gets a black chip. Dice are out. Four, one, five, four, one, five. So green die is on axis, red die is on axis, both die on axis, the five is going to get a green chip. Six four ten again. It's a number I normally don't throw, but sure does seem to be hitting the tens today. Okay, so the green chip is off axis. Red, or I mean green die is off axis. Red die on axis. So it's, ten is going to get a black chip. For what? What right die being on axis? Three, two, one, three. Dice are out. Two, four, six. Two, four, six. Green die on axis, red die on axis. That means the six is going to get a green chip, and we're going to actually get a chance to mark it. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Three one four three one four. So the green die on axis, red die on axis. Going to mark the four. Both die on axis. The four gets a green chip. Dice are out. Hard six, hard six, thirty three. Six is marked. 
Green die is on axis. Red die on axis. Both die on axis. Hard way. Hard six gets a green chip. Three, two, one, three, dice are out. Three, one, four, again, three, one, four, came easy. Green die on axis. Red die on axis, both on axis, or gets a green chip. Three, Dice are out. Six, four, ten. Six, four, ten. Boy, I'm really hitting the tens. Okay, green die off axis, red die on axis. With the right die being on axis, the ten would have been black chip. I kind of like this way of doing it because when, once we get done, I'll go over the different combinations, and you can see for each die set, you can do the same thing and determine really quick on which die is on or off axis. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Three, four, seven, seven out. Three, four, seven, seven out. So the puck is going to come off, reset the ATS, green die is on axis, red die on axis, both die on axis, the seven is going to get a green chip. And if you just look at our tray, We've had one dot, one throw on the right die that has been off axis. So definitely, you could be hopping on the red die. Anything with threes or fours would be, you know, good because the chances are half the time that would be. Correct. You know, for a dollar, I mean, if you wanted to play at a dollar level, that would be a way to play. Dice are out, come out, roll. Three, two, one, three. Five, two, seven, come out, seven. So the green die is on axis, red die off axis, the seven, one on, one off, right die was on. So that gets a white chip. Dice are out. Three sevens in a row. Two, five, seven. Same thing as last time. Green die on axis, red die off axis. One and one. The seven gets a white chip.
we were doing so well, and now we're back to being ma mathematically correct as far as the sevens. We've had 18 throws so far, and three sevens. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Hard eight, hard eight, 44, square pair, come out roll, so the point is going to be eight, green die on axis, red die on axis, hard eight, both die on axis, hard eight is going to get a green chip. Dice are out. Six, five, yo, six, five, yo. Green die off axis, red die off axis. The yo is going to get the red chip for both being off. Dice out. Eight by three feet. Green die on axis, red die on axis. The eight is going to get the green chip, and point was made. Can we put another pink chip out there? Three, two, one, three. Come out, roll. Dice are out. Three, two, five. Three, two, five. Point is going to be a five. Mark the five. Green die on axis. Red die off axis. One and one. So the five is going to get a white chip for the left die being on axis. Dice are out. One six five one six. Mark the six. Green die is on axis, red die on axis, both die on axis. The six came easy, gets a green chip. And just to show you. For both die being on axis and rolling a six, using this dice set, we either have to have a three, three. Let's see, can we have a four, two? No, okay. So we had just had a, uh, we have a five, three, yes.
can't have a, anything with a six in it because that would be off. One would be off. How about a two four? There we go. That's that's a possibility. Anyway, shows you different combinations of what what you could. And if you really got in depth on it, you could determine what how to play the hops to your advantage. Dice are out. Six one seven. Six one seven. Seven out. So the puck comes off. Reset. Green die was off axis. Red die on axis. So the seven is going to get a black chip. Six five yo on the come out. Six five yo. And mark the yo. We have a uh, green die is off axis, red die is off axis, both die off, or off axis for a yo, it's a red chip. Still a come out roll. Three five eight on the come out. Green die. Well, first of all, I'm going to mark the eight. Green die on axis, red die off axis. So the eight is going to get a white chip for the green die being on axis. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Six, eight, two, six, eight. Point is made again. So we're going to put a pink chip on there. Puck comes off. Green die on axis. Red die on axis. Eight, both die on axis, it's a green chip. Come out, roll, dice are out. Four, one, three, four. New point. It's going to be a four. Mark the four. Green die is off axis. 
red die on axis. We have to put that on top. So the red die being on, we have one on, one off. And it's the red die on. The four gives a black chip. Three, two, one, three, dice out. Mark that five. Green die is on axis. Red die on axis. Both die on axis. Green chip on the five. Dice are out. Four one five. Four one five. Green die on axis. Red die on axis. Both die on axis. Gets a green chip on that five. Out. Three, five, eight. Three, five, eight. Eight is marked. Green die is on axis. Red die off axis. So one on one off. Easy eight, you're going to get a white chip. Dice are out. One, six, seven, seven out. One, six, seven. Puck comes off, reset. Green die off axis, red die on axis. So one and one, and the white right die, or the red die being on axis, the seven is going to get a black chip. Come out, roll. Dice are out. Five. Six yo on the come out. Five six yo. Green die on axis. Red die on axis. Both die on axis for the yo. Gonna get a green chip. Still, a come out roll. See what we can do.
Dice it out. Four, three, seven, come out seven. That is three come out sevens on this session. So we have to reset our ATS. We green die on axis, red die on axis, both die on axis. The seven is going to be green chip. Again, that's our third come out seven. Come out, roll, dice are out. Hard ten, hard ten, fifty five. So our point is going to be a 10. Green die on axis. Red die off axis. So one on, one off with the left being on. The hard 10 is going to get a white chip. Dice are out. Six, five, yo, six, five, yo. Mark the yo. Green die is off axis. Red die off axis, so the yo get a red chip. Dice are out. Four, three, seven, seven out. Darn, had a runner go. When you see dice go to the edge of the table, to the sides, you know something isn't right with your toss one way or the other. They landed wrong, they kicked out, they kissed, whatever it is. But that's an indication that something is off on the toss. Whether it's the, the, the landing, too much power, whatever. Too much energy on your shot. Green die on axis, red die on axis. The seven is going to get the green chip. Got to reset. Come out, roll. Dice are out. I have one on the one of the die, the other one's against the wall. It's a three. So we have a one, three, four, point is four. Green die off axis, red die on axis. With the red being or die on axis, the easy four will get a black chip. Dice 
slicer out. One, six, seven, seven out. That does not help us at all. Puck comes off. Um, green die is off axis, red die on axis. The seven, we get a black chip. Come out rule. Dice out. Five, six, yo, five, six, yo on the come out. Mark the yo. Green die on axis, red die on axis. The yo, we get a green chip. I'm going to have to replace some of my green chips, folks. I've got a full stack in one, both racks, so I'm going to use a yellow chip signifying that there's 20 of, of the colored chip, okay? So 20 greens and 20 greens in the right side. It's another yellow chip. Okay, we're good to go. Still a come out rule. Dice her out. Four, three, seven, come out seven. That is our fourth come out seven. So green die on axis, red die on axis, both die on axis, the seven gets a green chip. Again, we've had more sevens, we had nine sevens. Last time we did this dice set, we only had did we have five or six? I think we had six. But with these, half of them have been on uh, come out. Still a come out. Dice are out. Six, four, ten. Six, four, ten. Point is going to be a ten. Well, we've hit a lot of tens on this. So, we had to reset. Now the 10. Uh, green die off axis. Red die on axis. The 10 is going to get a black chip. And i got to take a short break. Unfortunately, Mother Nature calls, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. We marked our 10. We're good to go. Sorry to do that, folks, but as you get older, you find out you don't have as much control as you thought you did. 3, 2, 1, 3. Dice are out. Oh, we got lucky there. Whoa. No spin at all. The dice just came out of the hand, lofted way high, and uh, got lucky. So that is a one, two, three, three craps. Mark the three. Green die off axis, red die off axis. Both die off axis, the tree is going to get a red chip. So what did we do with that toss to make the react like that? Dice are out. Three, five, eight, three, five, eight. Got lucky again. Had one die go way to the side. So, going to mark the eight. Green die on axis. Red die off axis. The eight is one and one. The left die was on. So three, two, one, three. Dice out. Three, five, eight, again, repeater, this way, and this time the dice reacted much nicer, hit the back wall and just died. So, green die on axis, red die off axis, um, one on, one off, and the left die on, the eight gets a white chip. Dice are out. Four, three, seven, seven out. It's frustrating. So, puck comes off. We have to reset everything. Green die on axis. Red die on axis. Green chip goes on the seven. That's ten. Ten sevens. Four of them being come out sevens. Come out roll. Dice are out. Two, one, three, craps on the come out. Two, one, three. Gonna mark the three. Green die on axis, red die on axis. 
So a green die goes on the three. Still, we come out gold. Dice are out. Three, one, four. The new point is four. Marking it. Green die on axis, red die on axis. The four came easy, but both die on axis gets a green chip. Dice are out. Three, four, seven. Seven out. That does not help things. Okay. You said everything. Green die on axis. Red die on axis. Seven is a green chip. Last roll. Dice are out. Six two eight. Green die off axis, red die off axis. Eight is going to get a red chip. We're done with our throwing. Now comes the analysis. Just overall, let's do our green die. See how many were on axis. We had 33 on axis. Let's see if we had, I kept track right. 17 off axis. Okay, so 20, 25, 30, 33. That's 66% uh, out of 50 throws. That's two thirds, which is just about what you would expect. So that was the map. You know, it just shows that that is correct. The red die. Thirty-six. Fourteen, so that's correct. Thirty-six is seventy-two percent. A little bit higher than normal, so the right die, the red die, was on axis more than the left eye. Okay? Now, if we uh, do the accumulation of both of those, we're going to come out here with, we had no twos. Okay? Just to show you, I'm going to use the bigger dice right for this. With this dice set, the only way to get a 1-1 one, one is, now the 1s and 6s are reversed, but everything else is correct on the dice. One has to go off, and the other one, the left has to go off axis. 
Okay, so that would be a to get a, a two uh, would, on this would be uh, with this one three. Your green die would have to go off axis, so your red die would stay on. That would be a black chip. Would be the only way to get a one one. Okay. Had none of those. No twos in 50 throws. How many threes did we have? We had two threes. One with both on axis, one with both off axis. Okay? There's no sixes on this, so the only way to get both on axis would this would be a five and a six. Or a, we're on a three. So the only way to get a three would be a two, one, okay, for both being on axis. For both being off axis, this would have to be a one and a two, okay? So that's the only way to get that dice, two threes, two threes, fours, we, we didn't have any hard fours, we had five fours total, okay, so to get, we had three with both on, two with one on, one off, with the right side being on. Doesn't seem right, does it? With both on, the only way to do it, there's well there's a three one. Whoops, here's why. Yeah, here we go. For both being on on a four, it would have to be a three one. With, with both with the right die being on axis and the left die being off would be a three one and the only would be a two two would be this way one on but that would be the right die being on axis so green die three one on it both on with a Right die being on would be a one three. Okay, how many fives did we have? We had five fives. Two of, or three of those were both die being on axis. So if we had a three here, there is no. If, to get a five, we have to have a two. So that's not it. So a three one or a three or a four would have to be a four one. That, this is the only combination to get both die on axis. To get the left die on axis and the right die off axis would be a three. Two. Okay. For a black chip, for the right die being on axis, would have to be a four one. Okay. Is that, I hope that makes sense. Okay. How many sixes did we get? We had. Two easy sixes, one hard six. All of them came with both die on axis. So a three, three. And then the only other way to do it would be a five, one. 
because a 4 2 would put this off axis. Okay? Sevens. We had 11 sevens. Not good. But it does happen that way sometimes. We started off with 16 throws without a seven. So, um, we had five with both die on axis. So that was either a three, four, or a four, three, and let's see here. Did I do a five two or two? Nope. This is the, those are the only on axis sevens with both die. We had two with the left die on axis. Okay. So that was either a three or a four. Uh, and this being off axis, so that had to be a two, five. Or a five, two. We had three with the right die being on axis. That could be a one, Six a six one and that's how those would happen. Okay, so nine six or eleven sevens. We'll just set that there. We had three points made. Eights, we had two hard ways. We had ten eights. Half of them being with both die on axis. Okay? So, how do we both die on axis would have to, have to be a um, 5 3. Okay? Or a 4 4. Four of them also being with the left die on axis. So it was either a three, five, or a five. Well, I couldn't, five, three wouldn't work because that would be both be on axis. So three, five, that's the only way to do with the left die. We had one with both die being off axis. So that would be a six, two, that would be the only way for that to happen. Okay, nines, we had one nine with the left die being on axis. So well, that was either, that had to be a three, yeah, had to be a four, five. Is the only way we could manage that. Tens, we had one hard way. Five. The hard way was with one on, one off. 
So that was left die being on, right die being off. Okay. Four or when two, we had five with the right die being on axis. Well, that had to be a four six. Or a six four. I'm sorry. And then we had one with both die being on axis. So that had to be a four six. Or yeah, four six because we're on the tens. Okay, yo's. We had five yo's. with three of them being both die off axis. So that had to be a six, five, is the only way to do it. And two of them both die on axis. So that had to be a five, six. We had 112 with the right die being on axis. Six. Six. Hopefully that shows you a little bit about on off axis. We had way too many sevens. But if you if you look overall here, out of 50 throws. We would expect maybe half to be on axis. If you can get half on axis, you're doing pretty good for both of them. So here, here's the breakdown, both on axis. Twenty-four. So that's forty-eight percent. Forty-eight percent of my throws, both dies are on axis. The right uh, die is on axis. An additional twelve times, so that'd be twenty-four percent. The left die or the green die is on axis seven more times for 14%. We only had four throws of both die being off axis total out of 50 throws. So hopefully gives you something to think about when you're choosing a dice set or how you're throwing the dice. Maybe you can make some adjustments there. Hope everybody enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Share it with a friend. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. But until next time, we'll, we'll be back with our series, our July series on the next video. So. Till next time, everybody, take care, stay safe, and God bless. I'll see you then.